bring it back like she loves some Tell her bring it back, bring it back, back Tell her bring it back like she loves some Tell her bring it back, bring it back, back Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I finally have a video that I have requested a lot to do, an updated kind of version. I also talked about this previously but organization in college is so necessary it's actually ridiculous it's so easy to like not be organized in college just because I mean you have freedom and freedom sometimes can be good and freedom can sometimes be bad and I apologize if you can hear my washer washing my clothes but finally I consolidated all of my tips about staying organized in college and also showing you guys how I organize my agenda even after post-grad because I thought I fought I thought that would be helpful for you all, so if you are interested in how to stay organized, stay tuned, but also be sure to check out my other social medias if you liked this video, and be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you all here. I'm sorry I had to hit that really awkwardly high-pitched note. Hair of my lip gloss. One of my favorite tips to tell you guys every single year, I kind of forgot to tell you guys this year, so... Here I am telling you guys my favorite little insider trick. So basically we all know that college textbooks are a ridiculous amount of money and no one really likes to pay the full price, especially at your college bookstore. Some textbooks can go for like $200. $200. And you're like, okay, WTF. But if you use this website called Slugbooks, I've talked about this so many times before. I didn't know about slugbooks.com until I was a sophomore in college. And ever since then, that's the only website that I use. You enter the ISBN number that's, that's usually on the syllabus that your professor provides you with, usually before school starts. And instead of paying that $200 price that you will pay at the bookstore, and it shows you all the different websites that kind of sell used or new textbooks in like the best price that you can get it at. So I will remind you guys of this website probably till the end of the world because it is seriously a lifesaver and you're welcome in advance. <laughs> So my next tip I've already previously touched on in the last video is to have one school supply, whether it's binder, notebook, everything, and have all of the different subjects in that same thing. So it's less things for you to carry around, but always be sure to label it and always put it in the exact place where it's supposed to be. And it's just so easy to put all the flyers and handouts that your teachers will give you and put it in this so you'll always have it and you can, you know, go back and look at it once you know, an exam or something comes around. My next organizational tip is to keep separate notebooks though for like your leisurely stuff and your homework -y and notes and stuff like that. So it kind of helps you think of a certain notebook in a different aspect and kind of helps you like relieve stress because I mean certain things remind you of school and then certain things will remind you of work so it's just like, I don't know, different lives. If you're lucky enough to go to a college where a lot of your professors let you use your laptop to take notes in, my best advice I can give you guys is something that I did a lot my freshman year because a lot of my freshman year classes allowed me to have laptops, and that would be to, you know, make a folder on the desktop of your computer whenever you're in class and make it, you know, freshman year. And then within that folder, have a different folder for each individual class. And you can even make it in between that one and have each individual section within that class. So it just kind of helps you stay organized and like you'll always have all that stuff if you ever need to go back. When my desk is more organized, I feel like my life is so much more organized too. So I also like to keep a bunch of different colored pens and stuff on my desk as well as having them like in my book bag. But since we're talking about the desk, I have a ton of those on there as you can see. And it's just so nice because you can, you know, use different colors for certain things. And also, I love to have post-it notes. This is great for having them in your school bag and also on at your desk because you can take the post-it note, write what you need to write down, and put it on your computer so it's like the first thing you see and, you know, you always remember to do it. And now, the parts you all have been waiting for. The agenda portion of this video. My agenda is my best friend. I'm sure y'all's is your best friend too. But holy cow, guys, this agenda rocks. Go buy it. So this agenda is the day designer from Target. And seriously, if you're a post-grad or even in college still, this thing is huge, but it will save your ass. It is only $20 at Target. It's my favorite agenda. At the beginning of the month, just like most agendas, there's a huge 
calendar portion and I like to use this to organize you know like my video schedule and also plan out like when exams are or when I have you know certain meetings and so I can always like refer back to that just to make sure like I have certain things and even on the days I don't really have anything marked I can use that more as like a filming day and so now that I'm post-grad I still use it as a filming schedule and also for like my appointments and meetings and everything like that. For every day aside from the weekend there is a whole page dedicated to it and within this agenda it has the today's schedule which starts at 6 a.m. and goes to 8 p.m. so it's just basically pretty typical when you usually have your most stuff during that day and then it's also got the top three things that you need to achieve for that day and then also a to-do list a notes section which is where I put like things that I need to pick up if I have a grocery list or anything for that day and then also there's a little section that says tonight so if there's anything after 8 p.m. that you need to achieve you can write that down and then there's a section called gratitude which I actually use kind of as like a little diary or journal I like to put something that I'm like thankful for or something important that I always want to remember that happened that day so I can go back and look back at it because sometimes it my agenda kind of acts as like a little diary and a little calendar, you know, to look back and think back on times and when life was good. It's also really good to highlight the really important things. I just have highlighters that I haven't opened yet, but I'm going to be doing that in the near future. So that concludes my college organization video. I hope this video was helpful for those who are in college and I hope it was even helpful for those who are still in high school and are looking for some tips and tricks on how to stay organized. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really love it for this video to get to 5,000 thumbs up because that would just be really really cool and also be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this and check out my other social media links which I always update because I'm obsessed with social media obviously and also my snapchat I'm on it all the freaking time now it's my life one last reminder is to check out slug books because it rocks my socks off and that concludes this video I hope you all enjoyed it and until next time I will talk to y'all later bye